Bonfire Rauchbier. What up, guys? It's the Beer's Gone Bad. With beer. Flows like one. We are your hosts tonight. This is... Scott Van Vogt. And I am Pat Tujin. We're going back to the Sam Adams tonight. He's the big time micro brewer who's not so micro anymore. Yeah, he's uh, he's the micro brewer that made it big time. The first of the kind, if you will. The first of the new age kind. And you know what? That might make a little bit of waves. People might see this beer on the review site and be like, "Oh, Sam Adams." He's like, too oh, corporate. Oh so, yeah. But you, you shut know, your face. It's Sam Adams, damn it. He paved the goddamn way. And at the very least, it's kind of brought a little bit more attention to uh, to the actual craft of of brewing. Ralph brewing. Beer. So we're gonna try this. Um, how do you pronounce it, Pat? I would think it was Rauch beer. And I'm American, so I would say Rauch beer. Um, but, nonetheless, we're gonna get into it. We were told by somebody that it tastes like smoked oysters, so that's not kind of a drink. But while Scott's opening this, I want to give a shout out to some big Twitter guys that have been following us and playing along with us on Twitter. Uh, SD Barbecue. You're the man. What? New Jersey Craft Beers. Thank you for writing that beer post about us um, and the the Twitter conversation we started that inspired that beer uh, that you know that uh, post you wrote. And Chad's beer reviews. Chad nine nine seven six, man. You're always saying what up to us, and I respect that. Thanks you Thank guys you, man. for following. Thank you for the input. Um, we really appreciate it. And uh, here we go, dude. Let's, Let's get, get into right it. Right into it. Sam Adams is one of those beers that I, I, I teeter on with because some beers, I like that he's micro from the old world. As an old world, I mean like 80s or maybe even early 90s. But I, I, I don't like the fact that he's almost gotten so big that he's almost a big three in a sense. Dude, that thing smoked like no other. But you know what? They still play the game like a micro brewery and they you know, play craft beer. They're not, I feel like they're about to get upstaged by Stone. With Stone's uh, running pretty hard. Yeah, the game that they've been playing is kind of the game that 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 Stone plays, where it's like, all right, cool, we're 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 a bigger brewery, but we're gonna make our craft brews and we're gonna get signature about it. And uh, Stone's been dominating at stuff like that. Their collaborative ales and and being able to put unique stuff on the shelves. Sam Adams, granted, give them their credit where credit to do. They've done a good job, and again for great great job in paving the way. Yeah, absolutely. Let's look at this at color wise. One Bud Light, ten Rasputin. This guy's gonna come in at a four and a half five for me. What are you doing? I'm a, I'm a number above you all the time right now. I was gonna give it a six. I Although have the light that I'm looking at right now. There's a light over there and I can see right through this. It's very clear. No, you can see through it, but like not really. Put your hand behind it. Like yeah, if okay, you're I'll give it a five. Okay. Actually, I'm not pleading the case, I'm just saying it's What's it's your number? Six. Fair enough. Not very much of a head. This thing smells like it came straight out of the hickory smoker. Like, I feel like I'm eating Thanksgiving turkey right now. I feel like, dude, if for all of you who have, uh, who have done any camping... Um, Shit, I'm a little nervous. We used to go camping a lot in Mexico, and this is Ooh, what... A lot of smoke. This is what the bonfires would smell like. After, like, three days of just sitting by an ongoing campfire, you have that smell... So true. You have that smell of smoke in your clothes. You come home... Everything, dude. And then everything smells yeah. like the fire. You smell like a tent in smoke, and I love it, dude. What does a tent smell like? The tent smells like uh, kind of like burning plastic. Tears. <laughs> <laughs> like scary times. <laughs> so yeah, there's there's a ton. And dude, know, there's a ton of liquid smoke in this. We knew what we were kind of getting into. Look at all those guys. Liquid smoke. Fire. Yeah, those guys are not joking around. Let's do this. Maybe burning books. I'm not sure. Rafia. Here we go. I like the fact that they spelled it B I E R. By the way. Yeah, I like. Get An homage to the old world. Or the European part of us. Tastes like it smells. Not a fan. Ugh. Mm -hmm. That aftertaste is even worse. I'm alright with it. Ugh. Really? I'm gonna go ahead and pass on that one. Seriously? I don't even want to drink that whole thing. Wow, dude. I kind of like it. Ew. I it, feel like I just licked a burned log out of the campfire. To me, it, it kind of tastes like... Yeah. It tastes like, it, like I don't know, if I was eating a pulled pork sandwich, this is kind of the beer I would want to drink with it. Yeah, but dude, you're eating a pork pulled sandwich. You're not drinking a pork pulled sandwich. Pulled pork sandwich. Try it. 
pulled pork sandwiches, pulled, pulled pork sandwiches, pulled pork sandwiches. Pulled pork sandwiches. <laughs> But seriously know. though, like that that's liquid That's not bad to me. It's definitely really, really smoky. Dude, that is completely um, not right with my palate. I think if you like like the smokier things, if you Ooh. like like uh Johnny Walker and those kind of smoky scotches, and you can go into this beer with that mindset, um in a bar barbecue mindset, dude, like I think that tastes good. I would one out of ten. Mac ten being awesome. Sandwich. One being lame. I'm gonna give this a one point five. Whoa! <laughs> really? One point five. This is a horrible beer. I think Pat is out of his mind, dude. I'm gonna give this thing a six. I think it's a good beer, and I would definitely. It has a time and a place. I don't know that I would buy it for every Friday night, but I would Ugh. definitely buy this beer again, especially, especially if I'm doing some pork in the crock pot, and I'm gonna make some... I know you keep saying pork, dude. This thing tastes like someone oh. took liquid smoke and poured it into a batch of water. That's what I'm saying, pork, dude. That's the best way to cook pork. So liquid smoke in a crock pot. I would just pot. rather eat it than drink it out of a glass. And that's fine. I also do have... 1.5. Beef jerky smoothies in the, yeah, for breakfast. But... <laughs> I know you do. That's how I got my healthy physique. <laughs> <sighs> so Scott and I are kind of skeet on this one. It's okay, it happens. You know... Can't want them all. You guys, this is the beer's gone bad. This is what we're here for. You, you know, know what? Actually... Me, it's gone bad. I want to ask your opinion. I think because we're so across the board on this one, I think you guys should try this beer Seriously. and let us know what you think. Be, give it a 6, give it an 8, give it a 10. Be like, fuck, I love pork, dude. I like this. Or I like smoke. Or I like... Seriously, go out and buy some of this Bonfire Ralph beer and tell me that you like this beer. And if you do, do it. by all means, I'll give you a high five because this is do horrible. It. Yeah, I, want to hear, I want to hear what you guys have to say. So either do it on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter... Whatever, dude. Let's just uh, Scott. Let's get out. Cheers to you. You can have mine, dude. I'm not even gonna finish that. Really? That tastes absolutely disgusting. Wow, dude. Yeah. The lowest review I think we've given on the show. I, just, I want to go wash my mouth out right now. Really? Yeah. I'm blown away. But that's how it goes. So here we are. You guys, check in next week. We will be Whoa. here. We're doing some more fun stuff. It's the beer's gone bad. Where the beer flows like wine. Woo! Ha! Done, dude. That was horrible. <laughs>